Hello everyone, welcome to part 53 of my Dark Souls 2 Scar the First Sim playthrough. Today we'll be doing up to the first boss in the Brightstone Cove. Assuming nothing goes wrong. And as you saw in the last episode, we got the Silver Serpent Ring plus 2. And here I've gotten to the point where I can wear my full Havels. Kind of funny that random a random hollow is tankier than well-known famous mercenaries. Big ass pigs. If you've killed them a bunch in Majula, if you killed the small ones a bunch in Majula, you won't have seen them before. Eh, they're not bad. They're definitely not as bad as the smaller versions. Fucker attack. Fucking inconsistent damage. So he has some towers we can knock down. Knock some of these archers away. That's what we're doing first. At least have those other. No, Ed. Yeah, if they go into that little shield motion there, they, that means they're about to carry you if you attack them. So don't do that. Okay. Now this house is a mimic, which we'll go to in a moment. Just clean up the area around here. Apparently those drop smooth stones, smooth and soft stones for crows. Which I think I need to have some I need to... Yeah, I have to drop a... We'll do that probably at the after the Duke's Dear Freya, which is the second boss in this area. Or in Brightstone Cove. I also want to knock this one down. Item, which is a lacerating arrow. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta drop down that well so we can come up to this house and grab that and kill that mimic. Grab the item he has. Fuck, how is that getting caught? I don't care if that makes sense, it's just, it's dumb. Especially because it's almost a completely vertical attack. Should be getting stuck on any walls. I think just to get these out to absolutely make sure that you don't get caught on them. Hit this idiot once. Get the fuck away from him, otherwise he's gonna grab your ass. Like I said, don't even try to open those directly behind the mouth because they'll just fucking grab you anyways because the dog shit hitboxes. What the fuck did I pick up? No, it wasn't that. I thought it was like Dark Staff or something. Shit, uh... I do not remember. Let me look at myself, see if I can figure it out. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I just picked up. I don't know how I don't remember what it said, but... I'll check the video... Um, after I finish this one. And then I'll read it out at the start of the next episode. Sorry about that. I don't know how the fuck I forgot that fast, but... 
behold. I come up here, there's some boulders up there that will be pushed down once you get near them. So don't go running over and try to fight. I almost got killed from one of these. They tried to fight while they were without realizing they were there. Torch, or torch time. How much are we up to this? 242. I could have sworn I was at like three hours or something. I guess it's later. I said to do a practice run like of this area, like I generally do. And I apologize if this playthrough has turned more into a walkthrough. Because I just don't want to miss shit. I don't feel like going through an area multiple times because I missed something. And a lot of the, and some of these areas are fucking more vertical than horizontal, and they're a lot harder to keep track of stuff. Because you can't just use like a map or something. I'll probably do an actual full walkthrough. Because I'm actually kind of enjoying this game, but we'll see. Peasant attire. Attire commonly worn by peasants. Normal workwear, more fit for farming than fighting. And this, in this, in Brightstone Cove, there is a couple red Titanite lizards. Don't even bother going near them, because they'll explode, kill you. And even if you kill them by some miraculous fucking luck, they won't give you fucking anything, because Dark Souls 2. Oh, I don't understand that. They should they have just made it so they give you like a Titanite slap or something, no matter what. So it was absolutely worth going after them, but it was hard to actually get them, because they kill you or kill themselves. But nope, instead, fucking Dark Souls 2, which is another one of these things that doesn't make sense with this fucking game. Now we're going to be finding a couple spiders. What's going to be kind of interesting is, if you have a torch, they're completely scared of you. And that's very useful in the boss. Not the upcoming boss, but the one after that, the Duke Freo. Because there's some spiders that are wandering around the arena attacking you with the boss. So with the Duke Sirfreo, I suggest you coming in with a lit coming in with a lit torch. It'll make them infinitely easier to deal with. I'll do that right now, actually. It's not like I don't have plenty of torch time. These ones don't aggro to you, it's this next room that does. And it's not like the enemies in the in No Man's Wharf. These just straight up will never aggro onto you if you have a torch out. Also that's what that red thing does, it aggroes on the spiders too. Or it sets them free I guess. Fucking run away. I should grab the fleet just in case. It's not exactly very important, but I don't want to risk breaking it. Much rather have some heavy bowls than rubbish. At least this one never aggroed. Weird. This one's trying to for some reason. Let's see if you come out whenever I do this. And so even without tor a torch, they're not too bad. There's just a fuck ton of them in this area. Honestly, this area really isn't hard. It's just... There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just, kind of, it's just an, an area that doesn't really stand out. Let's 
So we have a boss behind this. Probably the biggest air quotes I could possibly do. This isn't much of a boss, it's just a fucking collection of normal mobs. Holy shit, they do a lot more damage than I thought they did. Yeah, so use these benches to... Block out the deck tiles. How the fuck did that hit? Move forward, please. Magus. Yeah, look how much fucking damage I do. <laughs> Boss, my asshole. And you. Yep, yeah, uh, this is a big problem with Dark Souls 2. Another one. Is that they pull this kind of shit. Where they just thought, ooh, people like the game because there's a lot of bosses. People like Dark Souls 1 because there's a lot of bosses. So they just fill the game with fucking retarded bosses that no one cares about. Which is exactly what happened here. Just a pointless boss. The only good thing about it is it gives you a Titanite Slab. I would have rather gotten that from, like, Duke's Deer Fair or something. Though this is a great spot for farming Titanite because there's a... You just... Just... Uh, aesthetic the first bonfire, and then you can get infinite slabs from the Prowling Megas fight. Especially because the aesthetics are farmable. Cleric small shield. Cleric small shield. A small shield used by clerics on pilgrimage, enchanted with a somewhat fragile blessing. It allows spells to be deflected by pairing, especially crafted per to provide extra durability and some level of physical defense. Hey, don't, don't worry about on these, they don't aggro the these again here. I don't think these ever go aggro either, but they're fucking spiders, who gives a shit? This is... Basically the guy that, if you accidentally attack an NPC, but you don't want to kill him, then you can ask him for a pardon. I think that's how it works, at least. Still, nothing. Got some spells. He's like another faith seller, I think. I don't know, he's kind of pointless. Except for the prayer thing. Uh, there's a lizard there. We're gonna cut- we're gonna go in with the great sword. It's easier to hit them. This would be your fucking idiot of a character. Turn for no reason. We're gonna go grab that that lizard, and then we're gonna end the, end the episode. I think we're probably over time. Oh, you might as well light a torch because we're gonna be encountering some more spiders in this next room. I mean, not, there's only four of them. They're not difficult, but there's no point taking random damage. Can't avoid it. That not kill. Uh, the enemy here is just an annoying fucking, like, mage that is coming, I guess, soul masses on you. That's not what they are. Basically, it's just an annoying fucking enemy. Just kill him. Junk and some petrified dragon bone. Now, put your actual weapon on, and we're gonna be killing some di some idiots here. So just swing out one of.
Kill one of these two. Do not kill the other one yet. We will be killing both, but... We want to get the key from one of them first. Spear and Ring of Thorns. Description of the spear, real quick. Nope, we already have one, apparently. How the fuck do we already have one? Zadora Denki. Now this guy has no function. Because both of these guys are horrible, horrible murderers. They're both horrible people. So don't feel bad about killing both of them. Either of them deserve to live anyways. Plus you get both their items, so that's good. Green steel mask. So we have the key and that mask. Creighton steel mask. A atypical steel mask belonged to Creighton the Wanderer. It's a sign that remembers, re resembles that of the Knight Order of the esteemed land of Mir Mira, but with some odd differences that catches the eye. Perhaps it is finely crafted imitation. Sodora Denki, key to the den in the in Brightstone Cove, Sodora. The fools that ventured in Sodora, unaware of the ancient deeds that still haunt the cove, are transfigured into unspeakable malformations. Let's put the shield back on, and we will put this back on too. Now there's some items we have to get by dropping, so we're gonna do that before we continue on. Okay, pointless room. So put a homeward bone on, we're gonna have to use it. Now for some reason you can't get these two items both in one jump. Because of those fucking pillars. So we have to get them separately. I mean, you could probably wiggle your way over to successfully get that item too, but... Actually, we're gonna go down here and get a bonfire. No, not the bonfire. Back. Plus, we're in the episode anyways, I forgot about that. Yeah, we're on 17 minutes. 18, actually. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day and stay safe.